Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, <clears throat> so you guys know I've talked about being an empath and what that means and stuff. And basically it's just being able to pick up on people's emotions and you feel them as your own. Um, so <laughs> last night my mother texted me and told me about a dream she had. And in the dream... Um, she said she went to my aunt's house to clean out her house, uh, because my aunt had passed away. She's passed away, but maybe three months ago now. Um, but when she got there to clean out her house, it wasn't my Thea's stuff. It was my stuff. And when she told me that I felt what she was feeling, which was worry and fear and it just felt so heavy, like it just sat in the middle of my chest and it made it difficult to breathe. It made it difficult to swallow even. And um, I just told her, I told my mom everything was okay. And um, she just said that <clears throat> it felt like a warning for me. And uh, I told her I didn't think the same thing. I think it was just maybe her fear or something projecting, I don't know. But it was crazy because as soon as I got off the phone with her, my oldest son comes into my room and I tell him, you know, I'm trying to shake off the feeling that I got from my mom. And he gets quiet and he goes, well, maybe we should do something. And he starts um, saying stuff and I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> uh, he says he wasn't feeling any which way that I read into what he said. It's not what it felt like, but okay. Um, and then a friend of mine in our group chat shared a video from TikTok that was incredibly disturbing and kind of heartbreaking. Um, and I remember just kind of getting frustrated and pissed off. And I was like, what the, f you know, why is everyone in their fields tonight? What's going on? And so I had to, um, I had to just turn my phone off and that's what I did. I, I turned my phone off. I got lost in my book, uh, which was incredible by the way. Um, but oh, man, it was so like intense last night and it was not a good kind of intense. So I ended up getting lost in my book, like I said, and just so that I could go to sleep, I had to, um, I had to meditate and stuff and try to shake that off. Um, and I don't say this stuff so that, oh, no one can tell me anything because that's not what I, I mean by this at all. I like the fact that people can open up to me and tell me stuff. Uh, I just, I guess I made this video because I need it to sometimes. And I don't really want to burden any specific person. And so I make these videos. Um, <laughs> it was just really, really strange last night. Not a good feeling. Um, but I mean, <laughs> maybe I am just reading too much into it. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever felt something like that. Like somebody can tell you about a dream or not even a worry, more like an idea or a concern for you. And do you guys ever feel what they're feeling? Like, can you, have you guys been able to pick up on anything like that? Um, if so, let me know, uh, down in the comments. Um, and other than that, <laughs> I just thought I would share that with you guys, a bit of randomness from me, because that's what I do. That's how I roll. <laughs> Um, so yeah, until next time. Bye guys. Also guys, let me know if you want me to do another scary stories video. Thanks.